Hello my lovely Scorpios, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do your March 2020 general reading. Um, it's not love focused so if I see career, family, friends, anything like that, I'll say it. Um, but they do tend to go into love lane because a lot of people are heavily thinking about their love lives but I'll do the best that I can. Um, pulling other information because that is what is intended here so it could go either way even if I'm talking about love it could be just somebody in your environment that's a friend or a family member or co-worker boss whatever who's acting such a way or whatever but whew, keep in mind this is a general reading it will not apply to every single one of you I wish I could do that but I can't if you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy please email me my email is in the box below I'll gladly give you all the information you need on that. Um, it's on the community tab as well as my website. And don't forget to check me out on Patreon. These readings are not extended over there. But I did do many love readings for each sign on Patreon. So if you want to support my channel and my work, head on over there and watch all that. And then when I do the love readings with love focused, <coughs> excuse me, for March. I will extend those ones with obstacles and blocks and whatever like I have been doing. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It was something else I was going to say, but I don't know. It's just like fucking gone. The energy right now that I'm sitting in, I feel like I'm about ready to sting someone. <laughs> I'm just going to say that like I, my blood is boiling right now. So I don't know, I'm a Scorpio too, So, but I wasn't feeling that way. So there could be somebody out there who is at their breaking point with a situation or a person and you're like, motherfucker, <laughs> test me one more time kind of thing. You're going to see all the shit that I've been holding back. I almost get a sense that somebody feels like people, because you're so kind and generous, um, they view you as like being a doormat or oh Scorpio isn't gonna say anything they're not gonna do anything well I feel like you you have a lot of things that have kinda stacked on top of each other over time especially with a particular person and you're about to show them your wrath like fuck off energy is what I feel um Sorry, I curse. Post warning. <laughs> if you don't like it or you get offended, well, I'm sorry. Um, there's plenty of other readers on YouTube, but anyways, yeah, so that's what I'm feeling overall. I'm like so out of breath right now. Like, there was another sign that I felt that way for, and I can't remember if it was Sagittarius. I don't know who it was, but I think it was. But anyways, I feel like I just need to run, and I need to do this, and I need to get this done, and everything done, and I just need to say it. And I'm just getting so worked up, you know, when you just get worked up to the point where you're like, oh my god, I can't catch my breath, I can't, I can't think straight. I feel like somebody's in that energy. And it might not even be you that can't think straight. Maybe somebody else is worried about something. I don't know. I just feel like I got something to fucking say, man. That's what I feel. <coughs> I fucking hate it when I start coughing on camera. Anyways, the overall energy. We have experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge, and arrogance. I feel like this is the person that you're pissed off at. I'm just going to say because I almost feel like a dark energy, like a heavy energy surrounding me. And for some of you, it just could be energy, maybe negative thoughts and shit like that. But I feel like this is a person and it's their energy. And it's almost like it's hard to get out from under it. But I do see it clearing like little, I don't know, almost like poking little holes in the black cloud and light shining through. So I feel like there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's going to create a sense of balance within you or your situation. I mean this could be in a work situation or in love but I feel like this is somebody whoever they are to you and if this resonates it will 
you'll know who this person is because you're pissed at them. They did something to you or they said something that just sent you over the edge. Finally. But it's been a long time coming. Like the whole time I was shuffling, I kept seeing the tower in my mind. And I know that's scorpionic energy anyways, but that's also change. It's sudden change. It's a breakdown of a situation of a foundation. Uh, whether we're talking about love or whatever. <coughs> it could be your living situation, but um, it could be like a multitude of things. I just feel like karmic cycles, whether they're with people or situations, are coming to a close um, or you know that you need to close out these cycles. Um, you're more aware of it than you ever were before because I feel like this energy is just very strong around you and this is why your stinger is out. You're ready to cut this person down, shred them up, you know, bury them and not resurrect them. You won't be putting this person in pet cemetery, just saying. <laughs> you don't want them back. So. <coughs> oh my god. My allergies are just bullshit, so bear with me. My throat keeps getting dry. Then we have Divine Sensuality, Making Love and Erotica. This is such a Scorpionic card, I'm just saying. I always see Scorpio in this because Scorpios just deliver and they're all about that sexual, passionate energy. Um, even in their work, it's, it's like when you have something that, you're, that you want, that you really want, whether it's a person or a thing or a career path, it could have to do with stability or a relationship, um, number four. But anyways, um, when you set your mind to something, there really isn't anything that can get in your way. I mean, you might have little bumps in the road, but Scorpios are very driven. And I feel like for whoever this is for, you're driven to get away from whatever doesn't serve you and this negative energy, this negative person, someone who has stifled you, stifled your growth so that you can expand and explore and bring in new love and bring in new opportunities and things that you're going to really enjoy. Um, some of you might have your eyes on a new person, a particular person that just, I don't know, lights a fire in your, in your soul kind of thing. Um, and you know you've got to clear up something before you can really get wrapped up in this new person, new situation, whatever it may be to you. I do feel like some of you are going to be getting it on <laughs> with somebody, but not in like a fuck friends kind of way or not in a vulgar way, I should say. It, it will be very sensual and passionate and beautiful and like really draw you close to somebody or them to you or both of you. I just feel like this would be a connection with somebody that is raw and real and it's something that you've been waiting on. This could be their energy that they're clearing up if we're talking about love and it's not resonating with you and it's going to bring in this change. Either way, vice versa, whatever, take it where it fits. But that's actually beautiful energy because it's coming out of something negative into something really beautiful. <clears throat> and like I said, I feel like this was a long time coming and the universe could have played a hand in this tower moment. I don't know if the tower is going to come out, but I see it. I feel it. There's change here. So, and it's necessary. All right. So your central energy is the high priestess reverse. So I almost feel like this is that boiling point that I was talking about. Um, you have something that you need to say. And I think it was Sagittarius that had something they needed to say. They were holding back something for a while. And they want to just bleh, say, spit it out. <coughs> Some information. But I feel like this is, I don't feel like this is blocked intuition. I feel like you've been guided to, you've been guided towards this moment of release of so, either someone's coming towards you with some truth finally something that you've been wondering about 
it's almost like an inner knowing. And if that's the case, it's someone that you're connected to on a romantic level who is making progress your way and there's going to be some information that comes out by them to you or from you to them. Um, this could also be unloading secrets, pent up aggression towards this person over here with a dark energy like I fucking had it. You think I'm playing these games? Uh-uh. Like <laughs> some shit's getting spilled. That's just what I'm going to say. And at the bottom of the deck we have the devil reverse. So this is what you're releasing. This is what brought you to your boiling point. It is the same energy that I was feeling here. I feel like you were just surrounded by somebody who was just stifling your glow. Um, holding you back. It's very selfish. But you're releasing that. So that's beautiful. Let's see. Priestess reverse please. Is this for Scorpio? And like I said, this could even be in a work environment. Maybe you felt like you were being stifled by a boss figure. And you might have found out information on them or the situation somehow, some way, and you've been sitting on it. I feel like whatever's done in the dark is coming to light. So you're releasing something that you've been holding on to for a very long time. Because like I said, with divine sensuality, that could even be a passion for your craft or following your dreams in a sense. Ace of Wands reversed. You're going to tell someone you do not want to move forward with them. I feel like this is a karmic person or relationship. It could be an ex person coming back. We are in retrograde, I believe, until the end of the month or something. Don't hold me to dates on that stuff, but <coughs> because I'm not an astrologer, just going to put that out there. But, anyways, uh, yeah, I feel like. This is either telling that boss figure that you you don't want to continue on with the company um, or really feel karmic. I feel like this is love. Yeah, there you are, the death card. This is a cycle that needed to end, is ending so that you can transform and bloom into something better. And this has been a long time coming because you're moving towards this passion, this desire of yours. And this is a passionate new beginning in the reverse. So you have lost that spark for a karmic person, for a past person, for your current person, whoever your karmic is to you. And if this is resonating, they're pissing you off right now. And you're about ready to shove this wand up their ass. <laughs> I'm just going to say it point blank. So if that's the case, you know who this is. You're about ready to. I just feel like I want to wring someone's neck. <laughs> yeah. You're ending that talk. Ugh. Jesus, I can't talk. You're ending that toxic cycle because there's the devil reversed again. So that you can go out and explore your options and have some freedom in your life. Um, no matter what those options are. I feel like this situation might have left you a bit confused, excuse me, confused and kind of up in your head. Like, you know, I need money, so I really shouldn't quit this job unless I have something else lined up. Or am I really capable of doing this, that, or the other? Will people really see my value? Um, will I ever find love again if I let this person go? Will I be financially, emotionally, whatever? Um, will I be stable in all areas if I free myself from the situation or person? There's just questions. And yes, you will be you'll be free. And things will look up. I just feel the shift is a positive one. So what's crossing the high priestess, <coughs> which is basically a blockage blocking you from either saying this to this person or or moving forward in general. I don't know why I drew a blank there, <laughs> is the Eight of Cups. This is walking away. You're getting the fuck out of Dodge. It's like, yep, I've seen what all these cups have in them, and there's a little bit, you know, I don't feel like they're full, even though they, well, they look kind of empty to me, I'm just going to say, but I feel like empty promises here 
especially well actually if we're talking about work or love but I just feel like somebody promised you the world this is how this was going to be it would be it's going to be amazing we're either we're going to have an amazing future or I love you and um, you're good at this I promised you this promotion you know whatever the whatever's in the cups and you were looking at them they were shiny and pretty and you're like okay I see the value in this I see the value in this relationship and I see the value in this job or what situation that it is and then you got a little closer and when they weren't around you looked in those cups and you saw that they were empty and you're like you motherfucker like <laughs> what the fuck like you sold me a dream and I feel like the anger is not only towards this person or situation some of you are kind of angry at yourselves for even allowing it for believing in this person's bullshit basically so you want to walk away and regain yourself and find the cups that are actually full so that you can live a more fulfilling life this one's kind of deep so let's see what is stopping you from walking away basically or what are you walking towards what's going to come out for Scorpio because this is a block I feel like the unknown is scary and that's kind of what's been holding you guys back and I also feel finances so security like am I going to be okay if I leave kind of energy um, what's on the other side of that that fence or you know is the moon really illuminating what I think it is or is it an illusion am I going to fall for somebody else's shit kind of thing so there's a lot of uncertainties with this but I feel like some of you are just going to say fuck it and mosey on up that ladder <laughs> eight of cups please for Scorpio I might have said okay to the moon sheesh Pisces energy Cancerian energy you are getting away from someone who is a master manipulator and I'm saying that because of all the cards that keep coming out um, I feel like yeah look we have temperance here this is about healing and balance equal give and take like I mean it's not the six of pentacles but it's balancing your emotions and just feeling grounded and good about your decisions and what's around you and who's around you but this person has caused you so much stress and anxiety that this is what you're trying to find you know that this is what you need and you want this in your life and I feel like you've been striving for this Scorpio but this person is just kind this is that dark energy holding you back stifling you and you're pissed off now you're at your boiling point you're gonna rush in and you might not be very tactful with this person but you know whatever it needs to be done I feel like this is gonna cause a fight and either you don't see it coming or they don't see it coming because this is still in like thought mode um, you haven't rushed in with this communication you might be fighting with somebody right now with somebody who is kinda keeping you under their thumb no matter if we're talking about work or love or karmic situation because I do feel like there has been a conversation but there's more to come with this and I feel like this person is gonna try to manipulate you into sticking around you know when somebody fucks up and they get pissed off and they start chewing you out because you're chewing them out and it just goes back and forth banter and then finally that person they still want you around because they want to sell you this pipe dream over here <coughs> and keep you stuck um, so they'll come in with that love bombing bullshit and cry and say I'm sorry it's just because I love you so much blah, 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 blah. verbal diarrhea bunch of bullshit bunch of bullshits headed your way Scorpio and I feel like that will be the catalyst that propels you up that ladder and sends you out of here and you some of you might even sneak away in the night if that's not the case it's gonna be this might be the tower that I keep seeing like this is unknown to the people around you the person involved the company boss whatever they don't know that you're planning on leaving you haven't said this yet 
this is probably an illusion because you know that they have excuse me played these games with you so you're like oh don't worry I'm not going anywhere or someone's saying this to you and secretly they're hightailing it out of there they're going to and it might happen like boom so either you're doing this or someone's doing it to you like I said vice versa energies take it where it fits but this is like a soap opera I'm just gonna say and these are the days of our lives I should name it that so <coughs> recent past we have the two of wands so I feel like this is a decision that you have been working through processing for a while I know this is recent past but I feel like you've kinda of gone back and forth with this person with the situation because there are good times and then there are bad times and it's like almost focusing on the good kind of keeps you there and then you're like thinking about what you really want in life and who like the type of relationship the type of person whatever the job you want um, you know a, a home your home situation and then you're like I can't get this with that person or I can't get this at this job so the other side of you wants to go in a different direction so I felt that back and forth with it two of wands reversely I mean reverse huh. this is in the upright needing to make a decision and I just said it was in the reverse so I feel like you guys have made a decision what was this decision for Scorpio Wheel of Fortune reversed. I almost feel like you are trying to seek divine guidance. Like, am I making the right choice? Because you didn't want to fuck anything up for yourself, basically. And I also feel like at one point, before you got really angry, you did hold some sort of love for this person or situation or job. And it kind of kept you in this cycle. But to me, this is making a choice like you were trying to figure out should I move forward or should I stay so the wheel wasn't moving forward because you were kinda like back and forth um, because you, you didn't want I feel like you didn't want to burden the people around you or make your life harder because I feel like you've gone through some pretty major cycles but even before this um, that were extremely hard to get through and it's like I don't want to keep creating problems for myself you know so this could be asking for divine guidance and going to send me a sign uh, please direct me tell me where I need to be what I need to do to achieve my you know these goals that I have and to be in this loving beautiful relationship with said person even if you don't know that person you might be calling them in um, but you just didn't know how like the first step to take so it's almost like leaving it up to the universe to move forward because something isn't working you didn't want to work on something with someone or in a situation but you didn't know how to get out of it but I feel like your decision is to let this person go the situation go this job go some of you might be trying to save your money and it almost feels like every time you have money in your savings you need it so you're like fuck <laughs> I gotta pull from that and now I feel stuck again I feel like that is that's going to improve for you and it won't be as much of a problem now that you've had these aha moments because the universe is going to make sure that you are okay <laughs> if that makes any sense so it's in your thoughts we have the three of wands this is waiting but it's not waiting in vain I feel like this has been a long time coming you have been dealing with this person either current partner ex-partner father of your children mother of your children uh, something like that could be anybody I mean it could be just a dick for a boss wanting that new job like I said but whoever you've been dealing with I almost get this you've been off in dreamland like almost envisioning your ideal future 
like I said, drawing in the person you want, the relationship you want, the job you want. <coughs> this person does not wait in vain. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's almost like you can see it, but you can't touch it yet. It's almost there. So it's still in your mind, and you're like, is this ever going to come? Am I making the right choice? And I feel like that's why it's so hard um, to walk away right now, because you're, you're scared of the unknown. Ten of Pentacles. This is what awaits you. A solid commitment. This is happy family. Um, this is buying a house. This is being stable financially. Just It's all the material things. I feel like it's a stable relationship or job or both. I almost get a sense that some of you are waiting on your stability. Like I said, your finances to increase so that you can have this on your own so that this new person or the person you have on your mind um, can come into your world when you're in a better place but I feel like a lot of you are losing patience with this but it has taught you to be more patient than you ever were before but yeah you want you have stability on the brain you have a commitment on your mind um, one or both and it's coming and I think you know that because with that being in your thoughts to me that it's almost it's a form of uh, manifestation but I just feel the high priestess here this moon energy and just um, I don't know the I feel like angelic energy around me like hope um, keeping the faith alive kind of thing with this this is like destiny for you this is what you've wanted forever and you've had to work through all this bullshit and tread through the mud and muck and everything and it's like when is this ever gonna happen it's coming and you know it you feel it so why it's all happening the four of cups like I said in the eight of cups here somebody offered you a pipe dream and you finally figured it out I think you knew I'm just going to say that because the moon energy is also very intuitive energy. I feel like you you knew that things were not as they seemed in this situation or relationship with the past person. And I feel like you just, it was like a sense of complacency, possibly for stability, um, or just for the fear of the unknown. It's almost like having all the information and knowing that someone's playing these fuck fuck games with you and just sitting there waiting and this is this is this the divine sensuality you're just off in dreamland like okay I'm manifesting you I'm trying to get away from this energy into this I will have this this is what I'm working on I don't want this shit and I don't normally look at this card that way normally it's I'm content and I don't know if I want that new cup to me this looks more promising than this shit and he's sitting here like, Ugh, I don't even want to look at those cups anymore. Just get out of my way. I'm, you know, future forward. So I feel like this was the catalyst for change. And you might have told somebody, I'm not moving forward with you because I have new here. Even if you didn't tell them you have a new opportunity or a new person in mind, um, they might know like, or think they know. You're just not happy, and that was what finally drove you to this point. I'm just going to say that right now. And I don't mean that you weren't, like, smiling and having a good time day to day. Um, I just mean overall, you weren't satisfied there. That's a better word. Oh, well, I saw the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be daydreaming about this commitment, finding somebody who's loyal, and just and we have the five of cups with the past person and that fucking asshole again who doesn't really there's like no love lost here like I don't even feel like this person has love for you it's, it's all bullshit it's a lie they're causing more harm than good and you're ready for new basically you're like I said future forward um, 
could be dealing with a Libra, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Like I said, we have Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio, obviously. You are Scorpio. But, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> like I said, <coughs> Jesus Christ. I have like that spot in my throat. I can't talk. You haven't said this. I'm just going to say that right now. It's still secret. You're still like thinking about it. There's someone on your mind that you know it, it would be a stable commitment. This person would be loyal to you. Um, this job would benefit you. It would create that, that security that you've been waiting for. So I feel like love, love and money is definitely very prominent and it's your main focus. <coughs> Excuse me. You might be, because she's like cradling that coin, and I never really looked at it this way, but I almost feel like if you have, if there are children involved, especially if there are children involved in this situation, I feel like the reason why she's cradling that pentacle is because she needs that stability for her family. And it's like, I'll sit here and daydream and manifest and do what I need to do, but I can't take action until until I'm secure enough to take care of my family or even just myself like you know what I mean some of you if it's not children you might have to take care of a parent and it's like I just don't have the resources to do this and you could be relying on a karmic to help you with that or a dead-end job because um, it just gives you enough money to take care of what you need to take care of but you're done with it I can tell you that right now so near future energy we have the eight of swords reversed thank goodness we're getting out of our head we're not going to think about this anymore because I feel like you've already thought it to death you've made a decision um, in the recent past there was this decision to be made and I feel like you've made it you do not want to move forward with the job you're at you do not want to move forward with an ex person a karmic person a current person you want new 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 and I really feel like you have just gone over this process in your mind just continuously like the things that people say to you the things that have happened to you um, just throughout your life I mean even all the way back until you were a ch from when you were a child I feel like anything anyone who has hurt you anyone who has caused you any injustice because of justice being here you're rectifying that and you're releasing those those burdens so that you can be free so you can free yourself from this shit and I feel like that was a major lesson for you if it resonates eight of swords reverse please but it's hard we have strength reverse you could be dealing with a Leo Gemini Libra Aquarius but that's just the energy it could be in your chart their chart whatever you know how that works. Um, I feel like this is, yeah, you're very conflicted, but you're also extremely powerful. And if this isn't representing you, we also have the King of Cups reversed right next to the Emperor. The Emperor likes to be in charge. He is, um, he's usually a man or woman of authority, like a boss figure. So this could be a job, like I said. But I feel like I'm very conflicted because somebody has been emotionally manipulating me kind of energy. Like, should I stay? Should I go? Should I fight for this? Should I just stab them and leave? Like, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. But anyways, you know what I'm saying. Um, I just feel like it's been a very difficult decision. And you have had an internal struggle regarding this person, this job, this whatever it is. I feel like this is a relationship, a karmic person, and it's terrifying, but you're dropping those burdens, even though you're still unsure. I don't know how to explain it. So you're certain that things will improve when this situation ends, when you get this person out of your life or you leave this job. It's almost like you see that light. You know that it's going to be good, but there's still fear here. It's like, okay. I can't think this anymore or think about this anymore I've already made a decision I gotta get out of my head even though I'm scared I gotta do this because I can't 
I can't deal with this energy anymore. I do feel like there is a fight coming, an argument. Um, I do feel like you have already spoken to this individual, especially if we're talking about love. Um, but the love bombing, like I said, this person wants to maintain control and authority. And I do feel like you two do not agree on that. And you're like, nobody controls me. Um, I see what you're fucking doing here. And I feel like this is when your stinger is going to come out. You're not going to be thinking about it anymore. You're just going to tell them to fuck off. In so many words. <laughs> All right. So you, in this situation, um, it's how you present yourself to the people around you, to this X person, new person, who, whatever. But this is representing you, Scorpio. You have the Six of Wands. Victory, success, being seen, being recognized. Okay. If you're dealing with a karmic person, <coughs> an ex person, current partner, whatever your situation is, especially if we're talking about love, well, actually, it could be work too if you have an asshole boss. Um, I just feel like whoever's around you sees your value. They see that people see you, that you shine brighter than most people that you have something really beautiful to offer this world um, and to offer within a commitment and I feel like remember how I said whoever you're dealing with the karmic person that needs to go past person they have an inclination that you that you have someone on your mind um, even if it's someone you're just trying to bring towards you or it's literally someone you know <coughs> this person knows that you'd be successful with somebody new basically that's not them and I I feel like there's envy here so if there's conflict with this individual or with someone around you it's because they're jealous of your success um, so in love and relationships especially your the past person knows that you're a hot commodity and people want you um, that you're a good partner to have Six of Wands, please. And they're fucking... They're, they're sad. Like I said, they're jealous. You're not moving on with them. They're fucking mad. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag could have it in their chart. Towards Virgo, Capricorn. We have water, too. Um, I feel like somebody wants to dim your shine. I keep going back to this fucking darkness. And it might have put you in a, um, what's the word I'm looking for, in a sullen state or a depressed state. I don't want to say depressed because I feel like that'd be a little extreme. But I almost get a sense that somebody in this situation around you has almost, they've tried to um, break down your confidence and make you feel like you can't move forward. But this could even be representing you like, go fuck yourself, motherfucker. I'm, I'm being seen. I'm being recognized. I'm powerful. Like, you can't do this to me anymore. So I feel like somebody's sad that you are achieving some goals. And things are going well for you. And you might be a little sad that you have to um, end these cycles or close out these... <sighs> anything that doesn't serve you whatever we're talking about here because you have invested a lot in said job in said relationship um, so it's always disheartening when you have to walk away I mean we all get to a point where we just say fuck it don't give a shit no more especially if we're the ones walking away but there's somebody who's holding on to you so I'm just gonna say that and they're holding on for all the wrong reasons I feel like that Five of Cups energy was what you were overthinking. And that's why this person might have put shit in your head that you weren't good enough. Because you are so successful, they don't want you to know. You know, how can you control somebody who's on top of the world? You can't. So they have to bring you down. So I almost feel like somebody was trying to just hold you down, hold you back. And you're fucking pissed because you found out. So, the external person, people, whatever, to you, it's the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in the upright, withholding emotion, and then the chariot in the upright, moving forward, moving on, full steam ahead, you definitely could be dealing with a Cancerian, or 
someone you're dealing with is dealing with a Cancerian karmic because if this isn't your energy, it might be coming in your reading because this new person, <coughs> excuse me, that you've manifested, this divine counterpart that's coming in for you, they might be either going through a similar situation trying to release an ex or get away from people, places, things that don't serve them as well. So you both could be doing this or just one of you. Um, but there's definitely water here. And I really feel like with the chariot, just because of the energy here, I feel like the emotion that somebody's holding back, this would be the karmic to me. Um, I mean, for some of you, this person could view you as moving on and um, they fear that that would be Ugh, they fear you will do that or they think you're going to but I get a sense that this is the other person someone around you who isn't expressing their feelings and they're just going this person might just hightail it out, out away from you I just heard steal like stolen car so I don't know if someone's gonna steal your car man I hope it wouldn't be that bad Jesus King of Cups what the fuck is he here for I mean cause I don't really normally look at him being very bad in the uh, upright but he's not very expressive and I keep seeing all these empty cups and I never look at them this way in this deck but I am today or with this reading I feel like this is an explosion of emotion too because I see this wave, this tidal wave that this dude, the chariot guy is fucking riding forward. So whatever was not spoken is probably coming at you and that might be where the conflict is going to come in. Oops. <sighs> we have the nine of swords reversed. It's almost like someone's acting like they're upset that you're leaving, that you're going, but they're really not. It, it, this person might think that they're better off than you. Three of Wands reversed. Yeah, they're not waiting around. Okay, I could read this two ways. This could be that this person is viewing you, Scorpio, that you, you don't care about them. You're not stressing over them, over the situation. You're just full steam ahead, not waiting any longer, just boom, I'm gone. Um, because of a fight that happened, it's like I gotta get out of my head, I gotta get out of this energy, away from you, this place, whatever, and just chill. And then there's new opportunities on the table. This person knows that you have something new coming. And it bothers them. So they could view you as moving on. Or this could be after a fight, this person didn't really give a shit to begin with. They were just, it's almost like they thrive when they're controlling people, places, things. This person is a, like, they like to manipulate individuals into getting um, what they want. I just heard covert narcissist, which is not a term that I hear very often because normally it's like narcissism, whatever. But so this person, look up covert narcissist if you don't know what that is. They kind of fly under the radar. They're not very bold and in your face. It's kind of creepy, actually. Um, but they're definitely, they fuck with your emotions. <sighs> this person, after an argument, might just say, fuck it and take off. And either allow you your new beginning, which it would come in for you anyways, or they're going to act as if they have somebody else to try to make you feel bad. Something like that. Which is just arrogant and stupid and you probably wouldn't even care anyways you'd be like good riddance motherfucker anyways uh, potential outcome within a month's time <coughs> we have <coughs> the six of swords again so this very well could be you and they know that after this argument or maybe they don't know but after this argument when you actually confront this person um, you're gone kind of thing and you're just going to clear your mind and move forward to Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. I told you, it's coming. What you're manifesting, what you're waiting for, that solid commitment, that person, this passion, this 
oh, this beautiful energy, this job, this stability, whatever it is to you. And I feel like it's both. <sighs> I really do. And it's so beautiful. This is moving towards everything you have wanted. And I feel like years of feeling suppressed and just confined and um, just failure after failure after fucking failure. You're finally getting it. Because I feel like you have been learning lessons along the way. I almost don't even want to clarify this. Six of Swords, please. But hey, that is freaking awesome. Even if some shit cards come out, that's still awesome. I'm going to say they trump everything. <laughs> I just find it so beautiful that what you're manifesting and thinking about what you want in your mind, in your headspace, is in your final outcome within a month's time. It's right around the corner. Spring. Pisces season. Because... I don't know. I just Pisces or Cancer, the uh, Cancerian season. That's kind of summer, isn't it? I don't know. Cancers are the summer. Pisces. No, that would be next year. We've already how many pat? My God, I can't fucking think. Maybe the catalyst for change happened. Pisces full moon. Pisces moon. Whatever it means to you. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces and moving towards one. Um, or you have Pisces in your chart. I don't know. Something to do with a fucking Pisces. It popped in my head, so I'm going to say it. Six of Swords, please. Well, we have the Ace of Cups reversed. Oh, yeah. You're moving away from this dick bag or bitch. Male, female. Whatever. Because there's, like, no love lost here. You didn't love this person. You had a sense of love for them because of probably familiarity. Like you've been with this person. You've known them. You could have, could have had a family with them. But yeah, you're moving away from things that you don't have passion for. That don't fulfill you. That, that leave your cup empty, basically. You're moving towards something that's going to make you extremely happy. Might be a little scary, might be a little confused, but you have options. I feel like there's, it's going to come out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, you're moving forward, making decisions to end shit that doesn't make you happy. Somebody might want to come back. I feel like this person just plays fuck fuck games with you. Just don't, don't listen to them. <laughs> just give them the finger. All right, so let's get you an advice card from Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, Scorpio. Um, <coughs> don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Like I said, I have many love readings over there, and I always do extendeds for my love reads. Um, I'm not extending these ones, but when I do the actual love focus reads, I'll have extendeds. But um, check me out on Patreon, any denomination. Also, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Even if you didn't like the reading or if it didn't resonate, whatever, it really helps me a lot. Um, donations are always welcome. At my PayPal, email me for a personal reading. I do have openings. Oh, Scorpio. I feel like I could do one more. Hold on. All right. I can never shuffle these cards. They just fly. So, bottom of the deck. The Web Weaver. Synchronicities. I'm telling you fucking what. The Divine is totally playing a part in this. Um, divine Intelligence. Cause and Effect. That's at the bottom. So this is what's going on in your world right now, basically. <sighs> the Desert Prince. Survival False Promises. What the fuck did I say? I kept seeing the cups being empty. And I said that with this, false promises, a pipe dream. You're walking away from that shit, that bullshit. This, yeah, this is 19, breaks down to a 10. Endings, new beginnings. I'm so fucking happy for you, Scorpio, oh my God. 
I know I am a Scorpio, so hopefully those readings for me too. Jeez. <coughs> All right. I have a hard time holding these fuckers up. So while I read, Can you see that. <sighs> when you stumble upon the desert prince, you receive a gift. Yeah. There's your gift. Oh, I just want to put that right there because it's pretty. <laughs> Uh, the plant, uh, the plant life that, it, yeah, the plant life that existed in the desert environment is well defended, tough, and succulent. Even, uh, even though it gets a little, little to no water. Jesus, I can't read. In spite of external conditions, extraordinary life can form and thrive. Be tough, have courage, and dare to dream, no matter what the circumstances. Don't, don't be afraid. Of exploring your options basically don't get in your head things it's oh my god it's coming um it may seem to be too uh, bleh, i'm making up words now it may seem to be a hard time but not only will you survive you will thrive i heard somebody say that actually the other day hmm. in spite of conditions you'll succeed dry spells are also true tests of faith and courage expect nothing less than what is in your most precious dreams and watch miracles manifest. Your precious dreams are coming to fruition. Mic drop, bitches. Boom. Seriously, that's fucking awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy I'm a Scorpio, just saying. This is epic. It's like, there's always sunshine after the rain, you know? And or rain after a drought but I just feel this has been a long time coming for whoever this is for and this is all-encompassing this is love this is amazing love after a shit show this is a creative new idea a new opportunity a new job this is financial security fuck this thing I'm getting I'm gonna flip it upside down so we want to get rid of them and so it is this is just everything. I love it. That's all I can say. But yeah, I love you guys. Please join me on Patreon. Hit me up for personal. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Anyways, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.